In the vast silent theater of space, most discoveries arrive quietly. They don't announce themselves with trumpet calls or cosmic fireworks, but rather with a faint pulse in the data, a strange reading, a slight deviation, a light that lingers too long in the wrong spectrum. That's how it began with 3 I Atlas. At first glance, it was just another interstellar object, another visitor from beyond passing through, minding its own business. Subscribe to our channel for updates as we follow this story. We've seen these before. Almuamua in 2017, 2 I slash Borisov in 2019. But this one was different, bigger, faster, stranger. And when the James Webb Space Telescope, humanity's most powerful eye in the sky, turned its gaze toward this cosmic intruder, it saw something that defied every known principle of natural motion. It wasn't the object size that shocked scientists, though it dwarfed every previous interstellar visitor. It wasn't even its speed. It traveled at over 130,000 mph, fast enough to circle Earth five times in a minute. No, the real horror, the real cold, creeping fear came from what Webb saw trailing behind it, a glow. Not random, not chaotic, but measured, focused, and directional. This wasn't the tail of a comet. This wasn't sunlight bouncing off ice and rock. This was something else entirely, a heat signature, a propulsion trail, exhaust, and that changed everything. Because if 3i Atlas is emitting thrust, then it's not just moving, it's navigating. And if it's navigating, if it's adjusting its course, then someone or something is flying it. To understand the magnitude of what we're facing, you need to step back, not just from the telescope, but from your understanding of how the cosmos works. Natural celestial objects don't behave like this. They don't appear from nowhere, travel faster than any spacecraft ever built, and coast through gravitational fields with the grace of an experienced pilot. But that's exactly what 3i Atlas has done. When it was first spotted, its trajectory was unlike anything astronomers had seen before, not elliptical like comets or asteroids bound by our sun, but hyperbolic, a one-way ticket through our solar system. A visitor with no intention of staying. At least that's what we thought. Then came the size estimates, not hundreds of feet like Aumuamua, not even miles, but between six and nine miles in diameter. That's the size of Manhattan a moving island hurtling through space at speeds that laugh in the face of our physics. How do you accelerate something that big without it tearing itself apart? How do you keep it structurally intact across thousands of years and millions of light years? The answer is simple. You don't, unless you're not bound by the limitations of nature. At those speeds and that scale, even minor deviations would shatter any natural object into fragments. But 3i Atlas isn't crumbling. It's stable, controlled. Its speed hasn't decreased through planetary encounters. It's increased. The object has coasted past massive gravitational fields without being pulled off course. In fact, it seems to be using them as if slingshotting itself around each planet with calculated precision, a maneuver we call a gravitational assist. That technique is used by NASA, but this object is doing it better than us with no propulsion that we could see, until now. That's when the tail appeared, not a natural outgassing of ice and dust like comets exhibit when approaching the sun. This wasn't vapor. It was hot directional energy, something pushing the object forward or slowing it down. And that's when it hit the team at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. This is not a comet. It's a vehicle. There's a truth hidden in the stars, written not in light, but in motion, and 3i Atlas is writing a story more precise, more haunting, and more deliberate than any natural object we've ever tracked. When scientists at NASA and the European Southern Observatory charted its route through the solar system, what they found made the room go silent. The object wasn't just coasting through space, it was touring. First, it skimmed Mars close enough for serious observation, but far enough to avoid being caught in a gravitational snare. 
Then it plotted a course toward Earth, not directly, but in a calculated arc that would bring it within observation range while hiding it behind the glare of the sun during closest approach. It was as if the object knew exactly how to use the cosmos itself as a cloak. After Earth, it veered toward Venus, then Jupiter, four planets perfectly aligned in a sequence that maximizes observational opportunities while minimizing human interference. Statistically, this kind of path is impossible. Astronomers ran simulations and found that the chance of a natural object following this precise sequence at these speeds with this alignment is less than 0.005%. That's not nature, that's planning. And here's where it gets disturbing. The path seems optimized for planetary surveillance, not flybys, not collisions, but surveillance. Imagine you're an alien civilization wanting to study a solar system without being seen. You'd want a path that gathers the most data with the least chance of detection. That's exactly what 3i Atlas is doing. The object isn't drifting blindly. It's performing reconnaissance. And then came the worst realization of all. The time of its arrival. Scientists now estimate that 3i Atlas began its journey toward us nearly 8,000 years ago, right around the time human civilization began to rise. That's when we built the first cities, discovered agriculture, developed language, and if this object was dispatched, then it wasn't by accident. It was in response. For years, we've waited for the James Webb Space Telescope to do what no other telescope could. Look deeper, farther, and clearer than ever before. But no one expected it to catch a moving machine in the act of flying across our solar system. Yet that's exactly what happened. When Webb turned its infrared gaze toward 3i Atlas, the initial data looked strange. There was a glow, not a reflection, but a thermal emission. Something hot, something localized, something directed. Spectrographic analysis revealed that this wasn't gas venting from ice. It was a steady exhaust like the faint trail of an ion engine or a low-thrust propulsion system. It was symmetrical, sustained, and completely inconsistent with any known cometary behavior. NASA didn't announce this. Of course they didn't. But internal memos leaked. Webb had observed heat pulses from a region on the object's rear end. Pulses that cycled every 19 seconds, each one leaving behind a measurable change in trajectory. This wasn't just propulsion. It was course correction, steering, controlled thrust. But the most alarming detail came not from the energy, but from the material. Embedded within the glow were traces of superconductive elements, materials that do not exist in nature, at least not in this form. Elements with electromagnetic profiles more commonly associated with artificial constructs than naturally formed minerals. And suddenly, the web team wasn't asking if this was alien. They were asking how long it had been watching us and what it might be hiding behind that glowing trail. For decades, Scientists like Avi Loeb have warned that we may not be the ones doing the watching, that perhaps in all our cosmic curiosity, we've been watched far longer than we've dared to admit. And 3i Atlas may be the first undeniable proof of that. Its behavior isn't random. Its path isn't chaotic. Its emissions aren't natural. And now its acceleration isn't gravitational. Everything about this object screams design from its materials to its timing to its evasive maneuvers. But what is even more haunting is its silence. There are no transmissions, no greetings, no obvious attempts at contact. It moves like a ghost through the night sky, visible only because we've become advanced enough to see it, as if its creators knew we'd be watching now, as if they sent it not to speak but to test us, to study how we react, to map our response, to assess our threat. And perhaps most chilling of all, some experts now believe 3i Atlas might not be the only one. Because if Aumuamua was the scout, then 3i Atlas may be the sentinel, the probe that comes after the first message is received, the one that moves slower, sees deeper, and doesn't leave. 
As astronomers continued analyzing the propulsion-like glow trailing behind 3i Atlas, a new anomaly emerged, one that didn't just defy expectations, but violated the very foundations of Newtonian physics. Normally, any mass emitting propulsion at such a velocity and scale should leave behind a measurable wake, a shift in momentum, a loss of kinetic energy, a thermodynamic cost, but 3i Atlas wasn't slowing down. It was accelerating slightly. Yes, but undeniably the thrust wasn't being used to break or stabilize. It was pushing. And yet, despite that, the object maintained perfect structural cohesion, showing no wobble, no disintegration, and no thermal distortion from friction or reactionary force. Scientists at JPL and ESA attempted to simulate this phenomenon in supercomputers using every known propulsion model, from ion drives to nuclear pulses to antimatter engines. None matched. The only scenario that reproduced anything close to what James Webb observed involved a theoretical propulsion method known as vacuum field manipulation, a propulsion system that doesn't push against matter, but rather bends spacetime itself behind the object creating a pressure differential that allows it to slide forward like a bead of water on curved glass. A technology so advanced it only exists in physics journals and quantum lab fantasies. If this is what's powering 3i Atlas, then it's not just alien, it's post-Newtonian. The kind of machine that wouldn't just be decades ahead of us, but thousands of years. The kind of craft you don't build to visit a solar system, you build it to master it. As the mystery deepened, 